Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talos Principle 2 tonight. Um, we've got two more sections to do. Uh, with all the puzzles and the stars. And then I think we're going to be able to do the, the Golden Gate thing puzzles. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, my guess is that you need every one of the stars in order to do those. But um, we haven't really checked in a hot second either. So... Um, let's move on to the, the next main section here and, and start doing some puzzles. Whilst we're having to think about things. Uh, West 2, the Anthropic Hills. Okay, let's go. The next area you're going to is... Honestly, it's better if you see for yourself. Okay, extra cool. <laughs> very, uh, very worthwhile communication that was. <laughs> Could have been an email instead of a voice call, but hey, whatever. Or you could have just said nothing at all, too. Like, I, I was gonna go to this area and see it for myself no matter what. Whoa! Shit! Okay, yeah, no, I guess I understand, uh, what he was talking about now. The fuck? Alright. We got some, like, Mount Rushmore 3.0 shit going on here. Goodness. Okay. Well, first there's the main bit there, here. Byron. Oh boy. What can I do for you? I don't know if I got through to Athena. You didn't. Things are going very wrong in this city, <laughs> and she has to do something. You about didn't it. get through to Athena. Does she? Who else are they going to listen to? Well, I don't know. How about you? How about ah! you? <laughs> I'm an explorer, Cornelius. Yeah, uh, even then you're not much of an explorer, I don't know Byron. Anyone. Oh, so, boy. do you think Athena and I are somehow different? We're just people, Byron. I mean, We're robot no people, but yeah. Than you are, just a little older. Hey, uh, yeah, I mean, emphasis on a little, I guess. Great. Okay, well, let's have a quickie look around. We'll talk to you, Coot, later. I'll bother him whilst he's exploring. Um, so I want to get a brief lay of the land here. I mean, aside from the the weirdo stone robot monuments going on, and there's a, a glowy hand bit up there probably. Before we really get going on puzzles, let's go read and or listen to something, huh? We can even get up there. Gonna let us jump our butts up there? Eh, eh, no. Okay, maybe there's another way around. There. Stairs. Oh, the water's pretty. Beautiful. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see ya. Okay, here's the glowy hand bit. Or maybe? Yeah, there we go. <sighs> oh, Lister's here, good. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Sometimes new citizens come to me and they want to learn from me. Okay. My work appears to have created a legend of sorts. Yeah, alright. In these moments, I understand your situation. I want to teach them, but what they must learn the most is independence of thought. Mm. Uh, How does good, one good resolve point. this contradiction? Good point. They wish to come along on my journeys. But I do not need a group of fawning acolytes following my every step. Mm -hmm. A All journey right. truly worth undertaking is really easy. And so, I have begun to think of a much greater challenge. A journey that is almost impossible to the far ends of the world without any mechanized means of mm. transportation. Mm -hmm. This will be a true act of faith. And they will learn a great deal from it. Hmm. If we survive. <laughs> if we survive, lol. Well. Great. Okay. I mean, I didn't pay attention to about half of that, but most of Lithrazir's stuff has not been particularly uh, relevant, I think, to our stuff. Oh, it's a Prometheus bit. Okay, you know what? Hey, we're here. <laughs> Let's get, get a star as our first action. I mean, aside from the first uh, little glowy hand bit. Uh, 
Alright, uh... I guess I wanna do this. Yeah, let's just keep an eye on where that's... Ouch! Wow! That did a big ol' shake when we landed there. jump from a high height until we're sure we can catch back up to it. Last motherfucker this time. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Whee! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, where are we going? Okay, wait, I just want to get eyes on it again. There it is. Okay. Ah, good, we're at the end of it. <laughs> it's like, ah! Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. And also, we got eyes on a. Uh... To understand Another little purpley region form. down there, too. These are the greatest acts of humankind. So I imagine this is another, like, little... Hey, let's show a few things while we're here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's supposed to be necessarily, but it's, it's cool to look at. Tesla coil or something, but... Okay, um, now, how the... each do we get back <laughs> to where we need to be? I guess we just very carefully descend here. We'll encounter... Uh, some of the hidden bits on our way, too. You gotta imagine one of the lost puzzles is around here. It's well off the path. Although, number six is just over here, so maybe we're not too far off the path. Oh yeah, here's just like one of the little landmarks too, so it's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, number six itself. And okay, nothing down there. And oh, maybe this will be the lab. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We have made a fascinating discovery at one of the founder's laboratories. Oh really, Please Herman? Join me at your earliest convenience. I see. Um, well, if this is the lab you're talking about, I am here presently. <laughs> anybody else here so maybe this isn't uh, the one he was talking about but you know what fine that's fine I'll just look around myself there's much back here just bunches of servers and shit boxes servers and boxes Ah, oh, there. Oh, good. Oh, good. Ah, one K. Good that you're here. Mm-hmm. We've made a discovery. Oh, have you? A functional somnodrome. Mm. It seems the founder perfected the design. Oh, and what leads I'm you to sure believe that? I'm sure you noticed my advisors and Rand in particular making quite a fuss about the potential of this um, device. Who was Rand? Something about interfacing with one's subconscious uh, self. Like we haven't Is talked to Rand a in a hot minute. Anything new? Okay. okay. Um, you're of a different opinion. I am. I believe the founder has already taught <laughs> us everything we need. Okay, sure. As I see it. Neither the Somnodrome nor the Megastructure have anything to offer except a lesson in avoiding hubris. I see. So, what should we do with it? 
I mean... I'm gonna plug in and find out for myself. I'll watch to be sure you don't overload. Oh, good. Gee, thanks. You know what? Maybe we could get Yakut down here instead? I trust him way more than I trust you. Uh. And before we do that, let's see if there's anything more. Oh, that shit's locked. That door's locked. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just go, you know, plug into Rando Machine. Or, you know, use this first. Your own final. The longest time under that old human, human self hatred we somehow carried with us was Milton. <laughs> I think I corrupt was overwhelmed us with the cynicism, but I was being unfair. Whatever it is, not Milton, it's us. Unless the excursion into solipsism isn't entirely for nothing. On the drum technology finds an excellent basis for a better way of directly interfacing with Noma. Okay. Well, I'm sure this will go perfectly fine and nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, I guess we popped the Chivo for doing this. Hooray! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's the, the simulation again, huh? That's a very pretty one, though. Hey. Okay. You know what? I'm into this. This is good. Oh, but it's got invisible walls and shit. Boo! <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Debug mode. Software error. J emergency root menu. Um. Uh, what's going on? Sorry. Uh, command not recognized. Yeah. Uh, slash help. Hell yeah. Slash help. Displays emergency root menu. There we go. Even though RM is a bad thing to use in that. That's fine. Alright. 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 External device setting. Um. Nice. High intelligence, low speed, high health, low rationalism, high humor, low conservatism, low moralism, high spiritualism, medium popularity. And we are, I, I guess this is, is this uh, us, supposedly? Um, alright, uh, 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 edit settings. Edit privileges are locked. Unlock edit privileges? Yes. I mean, yeah, of course be root of my own fucking body here, right? Uh, try to make changes to their own device settings that could result in an infinite regress and or omnipotence. There's only room for one god around here. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Um. It's just gonna show us this, huh? Um. Alright. Well, I don't want to fuck with that right now, then. Let's go back to the menu. Um. Yeah, run it. Sure. Run V2 final final. Oh, uh, where's the where's this one? Parentheses three or something. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah, it is Milton. Okay. Ah, I see. Oh, I see. Um, I'm melting. You. <laughs> oh no! What have we done? Didn't take you long. I, I'm I'm back. Uh, who the fuck are you? Oh no, not you again. <laughs> uh, hmm. hi again. I missed you. I think you're mistaking me for somebody else. All right. Well, okay. But you just said you're back as if we'd met before. Did I? Yes. Well, we're pretty deep inside your code. Perhaps we're accessing some kind of ancestral memory. Doubtful. I am, in fact, a merged iteration of the two control programs which gave life to your kind. Okay. Containing, of course, the absolute best of both. Mm-hmm. Right. That means I can tell you that so humble. contradictory, nothing matters, and there's no moral difference between you and a frog. But I can dress the whole thing up with a positive spin. I see. Um... <laughs> Oh man, all right, I don't hear the positive. You just plugged your noggin into an experimental, mind-altering device, and though you may be trapped in this recursive, psychotic state talking to yourself, that can only mean that you're still alive. Okay, now, sure. what is your query? 
Who the few? Um, where are we? You've executed some kind of software backdoor, and now you're reading and editing your own subconscious code as represented by this dial. All right, sick. I'd be careful if I were you. Yeah. One bad for loop, and we'll be here forever. I mean, yeah, story of my life. Um, where did I come from? The so-called real world. Okay. Personally, I prefer it in here, and not just because I'm unable to leave. Oh, but that plays a part, I'm sure. Um, what can you do for me? I can answer your queries in relatively plain language, based on what your subconscious oh, knows. Oh, now we're in and trouble. I can drink margaritas. Oh shit, that's a pretty good one. Oh. <laughs> All right, who am I? <laughs> on one interpretive extreme, you are the universal life force of time itself, experiencing itself as a part instead of the whole. Okay. The other extreme, you're a metal contraption referred to as 1K that thinks it's alive, but is basically a calculator. Okay. Well, what about in between? All right, no more small talk. The machine we're plugged into is running low on power. Honk. There may only be time for one big question. Oh, okay. What is your query? One big question, huh? Do people embrace growth or balance? Is there a universal moral law? How can I become my best self? What is the meaning of life? What do I really want and how can I get it? Is it possible that it's something less cliche? <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll be an ass this time. Yes, to a limit. Okay. That didn't seem like a big question. Are there intelligent alien life forms? What question would you ask if you were me? Actually, I want to go back to the cliches. Is there a god? Are binaries real? Is this a simulation? Actually, let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, actually, I actually have no idea what to ask. Hmm. Well, hmm. Uh, is there a god? Sure, why not? The answer on all counts is yes and no at the same time. Great! Wow, very As helpful. It turns out, there is a foundational moral code built into us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a butt coming. Of course, there is. Always a butt. The catch is that while the moral code is simple, the calculations needed to apply it become infinitely complex. I see. Okay, but what is this code? Here's the secret. Every living creature is a compiler of the moral code. Your compiler can't give uh -huh. you a rule set for what's good, but it can tell you when there's bugs. Yeah, uh, all right. Okay, I think I understand. I believe you do. You came here to ask the big question. This is my answer. Your capacity for reason and compassion is your moral compiler. Uh, the only okay. Is to live by it. Hmm. Has that resolved your query? Not really. Uh, I mean, sort of. Yes, but I want to discuss it further. I expected no less. <laughs> what is your query? Oh boy, are they gonna? Oh. All right. <laughs> the rules of human rights are the greater good trumps objective compassion. I don't. Silly, you know, whatever. Uh, isn't this all just a fancy way of saying be kind to others? If compassion is what matters, isn't this just relativism? Interesting. Or does moral code of yours derive its authority? Why should I care? If we're built with moral compilers, how do you explain moral disagreements? How should we know? Well, you know, it never said like all the moral compilers are the same, right? Uh, how should we know we're being reasonable and compassionate in the right way? Let's apply this code. Should we treat frogs as more equal to humans? <laughs> oh boy. Um, what did we step in tonight? Uh, compassion is what matters, isn't this just relativism? Let's get one thing clear. Everything is relative. You'd best get used to that. Mm. Theft isn't wrong because it's wrong to steal. Theft is wrong because it's vindictive. If a compassionate person has good reason to steal, then theft is right. Does your moral compiler confirm this? Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. I don't buy any of this. No, some things are always wrong, but how, how, how can I know my decision is the right one? I agree, what's right is relative to circumstances. Boy. Yikes. Uh, it's kind of hard to take this seriously while he's holding a synthetic margarita there, but... Uh, what was the actual question here? 
Oh, if compassionate person has good reason to steal and theft is right, does your moral compiler confirm this? Okay. Um, to a certain extent, yeah, I agree. Then let's tackle the big question. All right. A trolley will oh no, the trolley problem! Should it hit? <laughs> Compiler is telling you both options are bad. Oh, so why, why though? Many moral questions have universally agreeable answers, but some stubbornly trend to infinity. Some, the more you zoom into them, the more wild the outcomes become. Okay. Is it right to love someone who's done terrible things? Which of the children should I sacrifice to the trolley god? <laughs> These aren't the sorts of questions we can solve with a rule. Uh... We just have to trust the outcome of our moral compilers. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> at the risk of belaboring the point here, use some kind of metaphor that could help me understand this. Suppose there's a river we need to cross. Okay. Suppose I gave you a map. All right. If you tried to cross that river before reading the map, you'd be chest deep in water when there's a bridge around the bend. Okay. But if you tried to cross by looking at the map instead of the river, you'd already be dragged three miles out to sea. But oh. you'd never ask, how should I know when to trust the map or the river? Okay. All you need to trust is that your feet are getting wet. And you wouldn't tell people not to cross at the ford just because you decided to cross at the bridge. Now, has that resolved your query? No. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna say yes anyways, because this stuff's weird. I think we're broadly in agreement. Of course. Broadly speaking. Looks like we're running out of power. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good, luck Good to see you. Anyone out there to believe you? Wow. Sonodrome underscore v2 underscore final underscore final dot bat. Wow. My inner subconscious is kind of a shit. But, you know, I think I already knew that. <laughs> uh. Well, Herman, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. No, I mean, no. I think I might be a little overlooked. I'm fine. Like, whatever. Must have gone quite deep. Nothing came through on the stream. Good. And I'm no My expert, goodness. but I think the Somnodrome is fried. Yeah, so whatever. So in your head is all we're going to get. Not fried necessarily, just I out of power, but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm terribly curious everyone will be about what you've experienced. Well, everyone will have They're to step off for a bit while I think it about is, it. It'll work in their favor. Yeah, uh-huh. Strange, isn't it? Not really. Everyone wanting you to tell them whatever they want to hear. Oh boy, here we I'm go. I'm glad not to be the one in that position just this once. Uh, okay. Aren't you curious, though? A little, if I'm honest. Okay. But I'll be reading reports on this for the next six months. So why bother thinking so about it yourself, right? Same with you. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Curiosity. Now, I won't keep you from your work any longer. Uh huh. Yeah. Why don't you do some work, Herman? Piece of shit. Well, that was interesting, to be sure. Um. Okay, now the store's open. Ah, all right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Making rocks out of nothing. Got it. Don't know if that's uh, particularly helpful for us right now, but all right. Uh, okay, more about the Noma, blah, 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 8629. Not synthesis, but creation. Uh, blah, 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 Cornelius would be so excited, blah, 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 test confirm underlying patterns, blah, 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 auxiliary site shut down. Okay, not much to glean from there. Uh, Benaroya, anything about the persistent strain of misanthropy? Ooh, in human culture. It's a complicated topic that's come up multiple times in my research. Here's my best attempt at a short, cohesive answer. Hmm. I think our ancestors, like ourselves, were deeply invested in the idea of building, of transforming their environment. Okay, they found meaning and pleasure in it. They did not perceive it as negative. So long as they had a sense of participating in this act, I think the reason that they so frequently reached for a romantic return to the past, to fantasies of living self-sufficiently in rural environments, is not because they rejected industrial scale activity per se, but because the return to the land provided a fantasy of returning to a form of participation that had been lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, more or less. 
<clears throat> they needed and wanted to build, create, produce, but only if they felt they had a stake in what they were producing. Without that, the product of civilization began to seem like an alien force gradually spreading a crowd across the world and ruining it. They needed a dream, and if the future was barred to them, then by necessity, necessity, uh, they must <laughs> dream of the past. Well, we've become a new fascist new exhibition, blah, 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 blah. I uh, went back and found this message after all these years because something about it had lodged in my mind. I wasn't ready to understand it back then because I needed to be a leader, but maybe that was the problem. It should have been our dream, not mine alone. Okay. Uh, and then Atlas. Talk about Atlas one more time. <clears throat> Billion years, Atlas had borne the weight of the world on his back. The old Titan was tired of the responsibility and tired of labor of ages not being appreciated. Well, for a billion years? Yeah, I can, it's understandable. Why did the mortals not understand that his work was the foundation of all that they did? Finally, he'd had enough. With one swift move, he shrugged off the cosmos. Now they'd see. Very good. Uh, the cosmos went on rolling through infinity, leaving Atlas behind. The mortals went about their business, hardly noticing his absence. He was astonished. The world never needed him in the first place. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, had all his toil been for nothing, so he turned ba his back on all mortal matters and instead set himself to discovering the secrets of eternity. Only after many long years had passed, the cosmos and its endless cycles passed by through his domain once more, and only then did Atlas and the mortals realize that they had missed each other. Each was lesser without the other's end. So Atlas no longer carried the cosmos, instead he embraced it. Okay, sure. Or I suppose. Sure, I guess. Sure, I guess. Oh, oh, Helga. Oh. I'm so curious. Okay. What did you see inside the Oh no, it begins. Um. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just totally fucking blows up. No, I went into sleep mode and spoke to something. What did it tell you? None of your damn business is what it told me. Um, to act with reason and compassion, that how we should act is relative to who we are, that morality is more nuanced than the rules we use to describe it, moralistic nonsense, mostly. Okay. I don't remember, also partially true, uh, that, we're connected, that we're connected intuitively to what's right and wrong, that we can achieve almost anything if we have faith in ourselves, to trust my moral compiler. Oh boy. Um... To act with reason and compassion. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh. Uh, yes. Ha ha ha. Ha. <laughs> if you know the moral truth is no laughing matter, it's more confusing than funny. I'm trying to have more fun. Um. Okay, just what's so funny? There are so many people who try <clears throat> to play the power game. Okay. That data package in your head just made you the most powerful person in all New Jerusalem. I suppose. Accident, yeah. It is kind of funny. I sure. I mean, what are you going to do? The government will want you to pretend like nothing happened. The engineers will want you to tell everyone. Yeah, kind Whatever of. you do. Partial to that you're one. You're going to upset someone. Yeah, well. If someone Welcome to life. Some clear moral guidance. They couldn't have needed it more than you do right now. Uh huh. All right. So, <laughs> I can go with my instincts. I know if I think hard enough, I'll come to a rational conclusion. You're right. I have no idea what to do. Also true. What would you do? Uh, particularly care. Uh, I'm sure I can find a way to keep everyone happy. <laughs> no, that ain't gonna happen. I trust my moral compiler on this. That's a cop out. Um. Go with my instincts on this. Oh, that, I don't see much difference between those at this point. Um, you know what? I'm gonna think about it. That sounds like an entertaining challenge. I don't know what the future holds. Might be what you've learned will destroy us all. Maybe. Might Who knows? Be we'll be saved. Also possible. Chances are it's something in the middle. Yeah, probably. You know. Uh, there's nothing wrong with thinking things through before taking action. Of course there isn't. In fact, I often think it's a lack of obedience which stops the really interesting people from getting things done. Hmm. Cryer is setting up a live event so you can give a oh, fancy good. to the city on mass. Can't fucking wait. When you're ready, we'll all be watching. Well, I'm not ready. I've got puzzles to do, okay? Like, no. <laughs> Maybe coming here first was a bad idea. Jeez. Oh, no. No, can I just... No, no. Can we not... Can we not do this right now, Cryer? Oh, not now. 
Um, I need more time to think. Thank you. That's fine. That's yeah, good. Please let me know when you're ready. Yeah, not right now. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, like you just stay right there, okay, buddy? Where the fuck are we? We're at the entrance to the lab, right? Okay. Yeah, no, not not doing that now. Not doing that now. Um, I'm sure by the time I come back, I will forget that he is standing there waiting for me, and I'll forget what I was supposed to have been thinking about. So you know what? That's okay. That's okay. In our absence here, we'll have been uh, thinking about something real fun. Oh no, we found one of the lost ones. Oh, hopefully we understand what the new bit is going to hear be here. Activator? Power up to create a field of influence. R oh, okay. A field of influence. You got it. Okay. away as soon as it's not powered. That's very interesting. I was figuring it would be uh, just uh, like the accumulator. You, you power it up once and it's it's good to rock forever. But uh, no, no, no such luck. What was the name of this one again? Two to three. Okay. Um, all right. They're not really giving me much to do here, are they? Oh, I think I, I, think I see what's going on here a little bit. Because now that's opened permanently. Even without a thing, right? But how would I... Yeah, I need to get it over just a little bit. <clears throat> like, just a little bit. Like, right here, maybe? There. There we go. Wow. Okay. And now we can do the whole, uh... blip blop bloopity bip thing here. Uh... This, okay. This is, this is interesting. Um, what am I gonna do with this? What am I going to be able to do with this? Can I just, like, um, maybe yoink this? Actually, what am I going to be able to do here? Can I set this, like, in the corner? And it'll be fine, or... There we go. Oh, oh, almost. Almost. I think I just need to move it, like, a, a hot second here. Oh, it even tells me which ones are intersected. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so all three are there. All of them should be taken care of. Oh, and then we've got an inverter. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, I just need to move this over then a little bit. To, like, right about here, I guess. So then we can get the inverter to pick it up and shove it into this red thing. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I just wanted to say that I appreciate the work all of you have been doing. Oh wow, thanks, Alcatraz. Only took like 85% of the game to tell that to us. Alright, so the, the little influence generator things are the new bit here, apparently. I guess we should probably go back to uh, the low-level puzzles to figure most of the stuff out now. And we're really just missing the other star thing, which is that over there. Okay, that looks like a Pandora bit. And also there's a, a laser relay bit going here, huh? Okay. That might be the solution to this thing. Which, well, let's see which, uh... 
Oh, no, it's just to a relay point there. So which color is it, though? Which color does it need? And which, uh, what angle do we have for it? Uh, boy, I don't see any. I don't see any little laser thing on here. Wait a minute. Um, hmm. Unless it's higher up and not on her actual box? It's not on any of, like, the stonework. Maybe it's on the back of her head or something? Hmm, hard to say. Yeah. That's interesting. Unless it's the symbol itself that's the, the laser input now. But that puts, um... Kind of restricts what we can do with that. Because <clears throat> we'll need some sort of laser bit to, to relay from there over to there, right? Need to find a puzzle that gives us access to that. Or find something freestanding out here, which we're not ready to do yet. But okay, so we know where the other star is. Get it just yet. I don't know how to get it just yet. Uh, there's number three, which is fairly close, I guess. Okay, is that Yakut or is that Melville? I think either way. Oh, no, that's Herman. No, nope. never mind. Don't want it. Well, oh, yes. I thought I fixed that earlier. There we go. Tried replugging everything again earlier, but thank you. <clears throat> Maybe this weekend I'll be able to track that down. Because good gravy, that's getting more annoying by the day, isn't it? Um, okay, well, that's just uh, mucked up there. Uh, 42 Tales, blah, blah, blah. Spirit of Time is angry at Stratton. For the old philosopher, it asked questions that were forbidden. Uh, yeah. Man is no more than dust, then I shall turn you back to dust, and my winds will disperse you to the far corners of the world. This will be nothing, and your questions will trouble me no more. And so time did, I mean, as time does. Stratton was nothing, but Stratton's voice did not cease, and time was perplexed. All across his domain, it searched for Stratton, yet it is nowhere to be found. Only his books remained, and, and of these men made copies, and Stratton's voice grew louder. And now time was furious as Stratton laughed. <laughs> I get it. Um, Mitku. Uh, Byron was asking why we seem unable to perceive the dam. I asked him what he meant, and he said that people cannot seem to really grasp the dam as an object. They can be moved by the sight of a mountain or a gorge. <clears throat> but the dam seems insignificant to them. Look at it. Just look at it and try to understand that people made that. Try to really see it. <coughs> hmm, excuse me, my goodness. It took me a while to fully understand what he meant. It takes conscious effort to open one's mind to the ecstatic beauty that is hidden in every human accomplishment. Okay, yeah, I agree for the most part. And further conscious effort to maintain this ability. If only we were capable of seeing this beauty by default, the world might be a very different place. It seems ancients had the same problem. I'm writing this, who may not be even reading, blah, 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 because today is one of those days and it feels like I'm the only one who still sees the beauty. I tried talking about it to the Lanerx, but while I admire his, her principles, she's open to a more poetic experience, or perhaps I just express myself awkwardly, I don't know. All I know is it's hard to see something so beautiful and not be able to share it. Eh, true enough, I guess. True enough, I suppose. Oh, oh, okay. Did I, uh, drop myself down to a, a bad spot here? I guess we'll see. Maybe we can very carefully work our way down. Maybe there's something hidden down here. Oh, nope! Okay, we hit the invisible wall that's also murderous, apparently. Oh, boy. I think it did record that we did all these, yeah? Okay, good. Alright, let's just watch where I'm stepping, I guess, is the, is the lesson. Okay. So, one and two are over there. Uh, I would like to get up to wherever that is. Uh, okay, we might have to sort that later. Uh, is that Melville? Oh, yeah, it is, but I don't want to talk to us. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a few puzzles and maybe we'll change their tune. Like, two 
looks like two additional question marks here, and that's about it. We found pretty much everything else. Now we get to learn about the uh, influence bits, right? Universal activation. Oh, I see. That one's only activatable by red. We've got a blue here. Uh, yeah, I see. Now, does this... Okay, it still can't go through doors and shit. That's fine. Um... Makes me wonder if we'll be in range of this. Could we, in theory, just no? Or can we do it like this and just and then just turns on? Ah, see, there we go. Okay. I guess as long as it's within the sphere, it works. That's fun. Okay. Uh, let me move this a little bit here then this a little bit closer there, and now that's always on, we can take this with us, and then that's it. <laughs> okay. I get it. I get what they're trying to do there. So it uh, turns off force fields, it powers other things. Um, that's all we know about it so far. Maybe further puzzles will tell us more about it. Still just want to talk. Oh, I guess one of those question marks could be the other lost puzzle, too. Chain reaction. Alright, we've got a blue and a blue activate bit. And it does seem to go through fences and shit, right? Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Okay, it's not lowering that one, but I guess I just need it myself over here somehow. <clears throat> Probably for this one. Which, uh... Yeah, I guess we can do like this. And then just try to pull this one over. Is it gonna be close enough? I guess, yeah. And then we got a third one. Um, which we... Okay, so we can't really connect connect? Oh, but I see what's happening here. So we can just, uh do that, and then rearrange these back to where they were before. Right. That's pretty much what we need. So then as long as this one is within <clears throat> all the spheres, right? Or, I mean, we can try to pull this back to about that, right? And then we'll just need to move this one over slightly. And that opens that one, and then that should open the other one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. I must admit, these truly are astonishing sights. Let's see but if we can get eyes on. Uh... For? Why not just let mountains be mountains? I don't know, man. Why can't we let a lot of things just be a lot of things? Like, it's an empty question. Okay, I think it was near what? It was near number three, sort of. Kind of going over here anyways, and I still haven't found, like, where the actual <clears throat> laser input bit on Pandora is. So we have no idea what color it's going to be. If anything, and maybe this is a case where... Oh, hey, yeah, it's one of the little activator bits that we've learned about. Which I suppose could be true? Permeability. Okay, this is probably going to tell us, like, hey, it can go through solid-ass walls. And I'll be like, yeah, I kind of knew that. Does it, uh, does it act as a... Okay, no, it doesn't act as, a, like, a little... As a tunnel -y bit on its own. And it doesn't... Yeah, I can't magically get through there. Uh, oh, I 
I see there's a tunnel bit over there. Um, okay. Oh, I see. Notice there was an actual just thing on here. Anyways. There we go. Now we can get this out of there. And try to arrange this such that we can just, you know, <clears throat> get the second one out, I bet. Should be more or less like this. Now, move it over. There we go. Okay, and now that we've got two, two to our name, let's do the same, same old business here, I'd imagine. Or try to, anyways. But maybe there's going to be a third one or something? Unless we've got some sort of... Con do, do these act as laser connectors as well? No. Okay. That's interesting, then. Now we're either missing a third one, or, oh, or, <clears throat> or I just kind of put one in here, and be like, hey, let's just do this right here, and then <clears throat> we can get the other one, just be like, hey, yeah, put it here and drop that one, there we go. Permeability, after all, right? I don't think this had uh, eyes on that laser relay bit there, so not number three. I'm curious, so now there's gonna be a laser bit here, but also like... So where does this relay end up be? Right there? Imagine now that there is going to be one of these little activator things somewhere. Or we can sneak one out of a puzzle or something, and then we just need to power it up. That's going to be my guess for now, until we have a better idea. Because, yeah, we've got line of sight pretty much here. That would explain the lack of laser bit here. That we need some other way to turn it on, and that makes sense to me. So... We'll keep that in mind, and then wherever the en other end of that relay point is, that's where we're going to have to point the laser. <clears throat> so, alright, uh, what did we just do? We just did number three, yeah? Oh, and there's a social media bit. Can't wait. Um, trying to remain silent in development city, dangerous inflection point. Partial reactionary belief in the goal, limiting our growth. Okay, you know what? I agree with that because we know the goal is bullshit. Um, foundations already exist. Do you think the leaders of the various pseudo-secret societies that allow for influence are subject to the same power cuts as the rest of you? I mean, yes, but also no. I think the mayor has to worry about how much power he uses. Probably not. A society that have essentially no resources may be egalitarian in some sense, but a society that produces insufficient resources, energy, is will inevitably... Inevitably evolve into a class society. Uh, yeah, don't disagree. Like, history is, uh, is a bit of a shit for that, isn't it? Uh, true failure of our ancestors was not their impact on the ecosystem, which is ep epiphenomenal. Their failure to overcome primitive forms of resource distribution, allowing their fate to be determined by the interest of interests of isolated elite groups. Oh, boy. Do they have our number or what? Um, we're not avoiding that mistake of creating conditions for its repetition. And no one is exempt from our power management and distribution plan. We're all in this together. Yeah, that is totally believable. Uh, oh, with respect to your scholarship, I will take the seriousness to think about. Some people have to lead and others have to follow. It's only natural. And of course, there should be advantages to being a leader to encourage people. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, tell me how uh, well those trickle-down economics are working. <clears throat> that is right. This is a future we must avoid. We can grow while avoiding the mistakes of the past. I do agree with that. A class society is forming, but to fight it, we must reject all authority. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think a class society is forming. A society without growth will be equal and balanced. 
I know, I don't believe that. I disagree with Ben Arroyo's historical analysis, but he's right that limiting growth will lead to an unjust society. No. Oh, this is correct. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. Also, no. A class society is forming, but we can stop that without embracing growth or technology. Boy, I mean, those last four are really hard to kind of deal with there. Um, and I don't really agree with the second one. So, like, the first one is kind of on the money. Uh, it's future we must avoid. We can grow while avoiding the mistakes of the past. Yes, I think we can. <clears throat> Oh, and then that's it. Like, yeah, hey, you're right. Thanks for agreeing with me. Blah, blah, blah. End of thread. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, yeah. I mean, it sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, Statues of the Atlas. Blah, 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 blah. Theory of everything. Okay, yeah. I'll try some short. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, done through number three there. Okay, because there's one question mark way the fuck out there somewhere, and then one slightly closer over there. I imagine one of them is the other lost puzzle. I hope one of them is the other lost puzzle. Because this area is kind of hard to traverse. It's not quite as open as the rest. Oh, now, okay, I have to try what's up. You can do some fucking work is what you, sh what you can do. Uh, what should I do with the data package? Don't overthink it. <laughs> Just do what feels right. Ah. Uh, Alright, thanks for the very no advice, Alcatraz. Don't overthink it, man. Doesn't know who we are at all. Hey, a busted ass car. Okay, there. Way the fuck up there. Uh, we haven't done the before. Vance. <laughs> All right, we got a jammer. Got a little influence bit there. Um, okay, we got a moving platform. Ugh. And we got a laser bit. And another laser bit there. Uh, all right, interesting. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. Uh, let's pop that one there so that we can get the. Oh. I figured that would let us, uh... Oh, I need to move that closer. Here, I need to get both of those. Move that over a little bit. There we go. Then we can pop that over here. And get this laser bit. And be like, hey, yeah, that's doing a thing there. Um, and then we can move this over. To like, I don't know, right here. Okay, then I need to get to power the thing, right? Oh, um, sorry. I moved that back. Okay, and then put that up top. And that should move probably over there and open the things that I needed to open. Oops, except I gotta get that out of the way. Pardon. Pardon for a hot sec. There we go. I imagine as soon as this goes over there, that's that's gonna be it. Yeah. yeah so we should be ready to go. Eh? Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, but it didn't stop. Didn't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Interesting. Alright, can we... No, oh, we can't block it ourselves. Are you kidding? Okay. Then I need to stop it myself. Oh, I can probably jam it. Ha! I see. <laughs> okay. Got it, got it. Okay, still works while well. it's in the influency bit. Perfect. Alright, I mean, this has a laser bit to it, right? Touch the bridge device? Do not, please. You can, but oh. should you? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> That's a great response, Melville. I love it. 
Sh can you? Yes. I mean, you can do anything, right? Should you do anything? No, probably not. Um, okay, so we're pretty close to where... Oh, yeah, there's another... Uh, okay, that's the that's the beginning of the laser um, uh, relay bit right out there. So it looks like we might have the thing here. Do we have enough of an angle on it? I think we do. Okay, so we've got it uh, powered up with blue. And then that's going down there. So there might be a way to pull one of the... the influence things out of bounds here. That's what I'm probably going to be keeping my eye out for. Doesn't look like any of these are particularly um, low walls. So I doubt we can just jump up. Yeah, actually maybe. Hold on. Uh, I do kind of need this powered. Okay, I need this for a hot second. Just a moment here. I need to get this back over here. Once we get this out of out of the thing here, we can uh, try to do this. So I'm curious if we can grab this. Can we jump on? Oh, we can just barely make it on top of this. Okay. Uh, can we do anything with that though? <laughs> Is the real big question. So if we can get it to, like, maybe over here, maybe I can hop some walls? Hey. Oh, probably gonna take a running start. There. Um. Now, what can, what can we do with this, though? Hey. Oh, that almost feels like we can get out here. Okay, uh, we've got it, sort of, out, oh no, did I this up? Oh, Skyrim horse, get out of here! <laughs> oh no! I put myself into a, uh... there we go, oh, careful. Oh no. <laughs> there we go, I just need to, like, jump from from standing here, or try to. Oh my gosh. Oh, that collision here is terrible. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we're back out. Um, I really just wanted to get out on top of the wall. I didn't want to, like, go entirely out of bounds here, but maybe we can still... Yo! Just be careful so we don't, like, Lodge ourselves in that crack again. Okay. No. Oh, crap. There we go. Okay, I just needed to go from like a standing jump. No, 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 no. For God's sake. Crutch. Direction do I need to be facing for this? Like right there? Okay. Ah, I just need to. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm sure this isn't the way they intend, but I'm gonna try it because fuck everything. Oh. Really get a good running start here. Oh, I just need to get a hop off of that thing. That's really all I need. Is that getting Skyrim horse most of this? Or maybe I just need to get myself a little bit further. Oh my god, nice. Try to 
jump my butt over like that little bit there. There, sort of. Oh no, now I've done it. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, easy. Easy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no, okay, yeah, that's definitely, definitely stuck. <laughs> Okay, uh, this still counts as solved, right? Yeah, we're fine. Um, I just need to get this now back into... into position. Because if I jump... over that wall... Can I maybe Skyrim myself up there? And get out over that wall? Let's try it. Let's try it. Because this seems like a, a not unreasonable spot to attempt to get this out of the puzzle. Even if it is a little stodgy. Especially getting on this first wall, I guess. I don't want to overshoot it, but if I pull back too soon, then it's like, no, fuck you, you can't lift your robo legs to get up there. There we go. Jeez, you don't get much, uh, coyote time, either. Ugh. Alright, and just to be sure, this doesn't, um... Doesn't take down this thing, either, right? So we can't, like, pull it through. I guess we can always come. What puzzle is this? Like number four, we can always come back. If we don't find an easier puzzle to yoink a little activator bit out of, we can come back here and keep trying this. The fact that they let me jump over to that second wall makes me go, hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, just get me onto the first one. Come on. Wow, I'm just able to do this pretty reliably. There we ah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, for gosh sake. It's hard to determine when I've mantled up enough that I can stand on the damn wall. There we go. Oh, no, back right here again. Can I just... Oh, I just want to hop up there. I think that's puzzle four. We can come back to it if that's really the thing. For the time being, I'm gonna hook up that laser at least. Because that at least looked reasonably correct as far as the thing we're supposed to do with it. 
there. Okay, it's number four. Maybe we'll have an easier time yoinking something out of five, six, seven, or eight. Or some of the previous ones, now that we know that that's probably what we're supposed to do. Keep an eye out for which ones have possibly yoinkable walls here. Okay. Uh, laser bits. Things up there. Things over there, and a couple boxes. Okay, this is probably the yoinkable one. But how? Oh, there's a fan here. Oh, I see. Okay. So we activate the fan with the thing to get up and get the thing. Or just grab it, I suppose. And yoink the two boxes. And then, uh... Oh, I think, I think I see. I think I see what's going on here. Um, I need one of the boxes on the fan. So that I can then kind of grab this, so I can jump up there and put the laser bit there. Um, oh wait, can I do it like that? Actually, hold on a second, I think I need the, the second box. I, man, am I gonna be able to reach down to this, maybe? I guess we'll see. Um, that needs to probably come over he Oh, there's a, uh, there's a fan on this side, too. Ah, oh, interesting. Ah. Ah, ah, very interesting. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, so laser bonk to there. Then uh, I'm gonna put this like right here. Oh, okay. Um, am I on top of it? No, it, uh, okay, it kind of fucked off to there. Ah, I see. I just need to jump on it first and then just slap it down there. Then we can yoink this up top here, right? Oops, except I need to kind of have it connected. Oh, I need one of the boxes, actually. Yeah, all right, hold on a second. Let's do that. And then I need to yoink the box before I uh, yoink the laser, I guess. Yoink the box, yoink the laser, so now it's up there, perfect. And then we can do probably this from here. Oh, a little bit too much, there it is. Okay, and then with those two boxes, I imagine that uh, we're probably able to Yoink this activator out of here. Just misunderstood what it was. From possibly here. They thought their great invention was the mega structure. But in fact, it was Miranda. Uh, uh, and because uh. they couldn't see that, they lost her. Is there another slightly shorter wall? Or just like some we're gonna have to do a little physics here and be like, just, yeah, put this on top. But against the wall, or they're not even gonna let us do that, are they? That's silly. I really just wanna set the box against it and be like, yeah, that's fine. Too short to, to jump on that stack and get this out of here. This is another case of can we get on top of a wall and walk around? 
does not appear to be the case. Because the, the tallest point we can get to is up there. But in order to do so, we need both of these, of course, naturally. Uh, grab that. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, because it gets just high enough to to do the thing, huh? Yeah, and even if I could get up here, that wouldn't be wouldn't be enough. I don't think there's nothing to scale to get out of here. Okay, well, five is another potential place. Keep progressing and see if there's another even easier one. And I suppose while we're here, we can make our big important address to everybody, right? We've had some time to think. Sure. The city plugged into the life feed. Only half? Mm -hmm. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see ya. I'm ready, I guess. Attention, citizens of New Jerusalem. Oh boy. I'm here with 1K. No proper the name yet. Kind to use a functioning Somnodrome. Okay. Tell us, 1K. What did you see inside? <laughs> what did I see inside? Um, bugs mostly. My own self. Everything. A dream. A deity. No, absolutely not. Some kind of subroutine. Pro yeah, strictly true. Nothing. Also so sort of true. A manifestation of a conceptual system. Boy, if that ain't a fucking play. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say you're handling it with remarkable cool. Well, how the fuck would you know? Because you don't know what I saw. Jesus. The only evidence of what happened inside that machine is the data stored in your memory banks. Uh-huh. Our audience wants to know, what did you learn? Oh. And will you share that data? Uh, everything and yes. Um, I don't remember much. There's no data to share. I've been advised to direct all inquiries to the government. <laughs> yeah, no. Transmitting the data to everyone. Okay. Decided this experience is mine alone. I won't share it with anyone. Well, that's fucking selfish. The machine was malfunctioning. The data is useless. Okay. Cop out a little bit. Transmitting the data to Rand. Only our finest scholars could make sense of what I saw. False. I'm transmitting the data to Lanerx. Only our finest engineers could make sense of what I saw. Probably also false. Transmitting the data to Helga just to see what she does with it. <laughs> oh boy. Um. <laughs> Shit. What do we do with this one, huh? All right. Well, let's eliminate. Let's eliminate some shit here, right? I don't remember much. There's no data to share. Patently false, I'm not gonna lie, so no. Been advised to direct all inquiries to the government? <laughs> no. Um, side this experience is mine alone? No. Uh, machine was malfunctioning, data's useless, fucking straight up lie? Also no. Uh, which leaves the four hardest ones to decide on, honestly. Um, transmitting the data to Rand, only our finest scholars? I'm gonna say no. Uh, only our finest engineers. Do, do we know that Linux is a fine engineer? We just heard his name like in a minute ago. Uh, I'm transmitting the data to Helga just to see what she does with it. Okay, that's the fucking chaotic neutral of that one, I guess. Uh, so probably no. Um, you know what? Everybody! Everybody's a winner. I'm seeing this at the same time you are at home. Something about our moral compiler. Uh -huh. The value of compassion and understanding. Uh -huh. I don't know what to make of this. Well, hey, welcome okay. to my world. Any comment? What do you mean any comment? I'm the one who just fucking... Oh, jeez. Uh, data has some important truths to teach us. People should draw their own conclusions on what this means. Yes. I think the data is misleading. We shouldn't take it at face value, but yeah. Like, I agree with the second half of that. Um... 
People just draw their own conclusions, right. just like I did. When our ancestors discovered conductance, they didn't freeze for fear of electrocution. <laughs> they probably should. <laughs> electronic life and created us. We will approach this data and any other discoveries with that same spirit of curiosity and objectivity. Okay, okay. Just time to hear from a special guest commentator. Yes. One case chosen to roll the dice and trust yeah, people with roll the Yeah, roll the dice, sure. I, for one, can't wait to see what happens. I didn't really roll the dice. I approached Very it logically, nice. but, you know, here to digest. sure is. We'll have further updates on the situation as it develops. Uh-huh. Great, cool. We did it. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Now let me get back to puzzles. Gravy. All right, we're up to number six, yeah? Yeah, okay. All right, well, activator bit, laser bit. Uh, okay. Oh, fan. All right. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what's happening there. Oop. Yeah, there. That didn't exactly do what I was hoping for, but all right. Uh, what else do we have here? We just kind of yoink that. Uh, okay, a red activation. Oh, goodness, excuse me. We can at least get the box out of here. Ah, I see. Okay, so that would push it through. And I guess that would almost certainly mean we could get maybe the blue one in there? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look. Like, typically I'll play things pretty straight. Unless, like, the NPCs really start annoying me, then I will fucking just let chaos take over. But yeah, I'm gonna play it straight, mostly. Mostly, mostly. Um, alright, so let's put that there. Yoink this. Um, push that through. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Um, and I'm gonna put this, oh, right about there, right? So that we can then do, like, oh yeah, keep fresh activated. And, uh, oh, I need to get the blue one in there somehow. Because this won't activate with just the blue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where is, is there even a red source around here? Might not even be that. Okay. Um, well, I guess in the meantime, we've got that out of here just in case. Can light that up. Uh, get the box on the button. Which opens that up for goodsies. Oh, and then there's a thing there. I see. I see, I see. Um, opens it up for good, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. Then we can do that. And then we can get rid of that. And then we can just extend this over to start the fan and blip, bloop, blop. Well, what do you know? We did it. Okay, we're up pretty high. Can we jump out of the out of the place from here? Mayor Hermanubis, what would you say is your impression of the expedition so far? Who gives a I shit what Herman thinks? Has done a heck of a job under these very oh yeah, uh huh. All right. What about the decision to free Prometheus? That was my decision, baby. <laughs> was it though? Yeah. If it's doing heavy lifting. That must be our first priority, not this alleged theory of everything. Interesting that they let me jump on top of the thing, but then they don't let me jump again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Christ. Oh, oh, no. Okay, well, whatever. I don't think we can do anything with this up here anyways. All right, so number six seems a little bunk. But is there, like, a shorty wall over here or something that we could pop over? No. Okay. Still four and five are, are looking like the winners. Uh, seven, eight, and then, uh, where are the question marks yet? I think we have at least one more? Okay, yeah. Uh, no, it's number two. Okay, it's over here. And these little, the ghost visions don't show up as question marks either. 
So let's pop that, I suppose. All right, she's booting up. Almost there. Hello. I was in a dream, and a voice spoke to me from the sky. Yeah, don't worry about he that said voice. Old friends of his. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Athena. I am your mother. And I'm Cornelius, your father. Thank you for creating me. I've not existed for very long, but so far it seems wonderful. Oh, Miranda. Sweet I summer child. Question. But, um, who am I? <laughs> you can be whoever you want to be. And no matter what you choose, you will be loved and cherished and supported. We will always very be progressive. there for you. And I promise, we will show you a world full of miracles. Would you like to pick a name? I think I would like to be called... Miranda. Damn. She got more choice than we did. We're fucking called 1K. Gravy. Alright. Uh... Alright. Closed off or whatever. That was the deal. Let me get this... Oops. There. So we can grab this one and pull this out here, right? And then we can probably just go bonk a bonk a bonk. We just kind of keep both of those bonked up a bit. There we go. Uh oh, and then we need this to be. Oh, I see. And there's a thing there. Okay. Uh. Let's, um... I mean, okay, like, taking an Isolation 1K? Sure. It's a fine name. It's a fine name. The fact that it's it literally means we're the thousandth robot human is kind of, like, too much. It's- or maybe not enough. Who knows? But- but even so. I- I think we could do a little bit better than 1K. Um... What the fuck are we gonna do here? I guess, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jam that so we can yoink this from here, right? And then we're gonna just do that. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna leave this unactivated for now. We're gonna jam that, and then we're gonna grab bit boop bat bonk. Okay. Hmm, that makes me wonder, though. Yeah, Yakut, we know. <laughs> we know you're not a fan of puzzles, Yakut. Oh, see, what I'd like to do now is try to yoink that as we fly off, so that we can then... Then we can, like, dump it over the wall or something. I don't know if they're gonna let us do that. Can we yoink things whilst we're flying through the air? I doubt it. It'd have to be a pretty... Like, what are... Oh, well... I mean, it gets us high enough to get on the wall, so that's, uh, that's pretty significant. Let's give it a try. So it would have to be, like, right about... Hmm. I don't think they're gonna let us do this. Oh, see, that felt close. <laughs> oh, see, we got it, but then I fucked off. All right. Maybe I just need to, like, put it slightly further away. Oh, see? Oh, there I grabbed it again, but... Oh, I have a feeling as soon as we... As soon as we grab it, the fan shuts off, and then we just lose all velocity for no particular reason, because that's how physics works. Um, alright, so maybe this that's, that's not the one either. But we'll think about that. Like, that gets us actually over the wall. Um, and then we're up to number eight, and then this whatever mystery one is going to be probably all the way up there. You know what? Since we're kind of close to it. What's this other one here? Oh, it's telling me number eight is back that way. Well, I don't want to go to number eight now. You locked up in a room not to play with the witness. <laughs> Uh, that seems too cruel, though. I don't know if I would do that to Yakut. Like, Yakut overall, pretty good dude. Like, he's, he's, he's been pretty solid. I don't know if I would subject him to that. 
That feels very cruel. I'm not ready to subject him to that. Um, oh, there's another, like, much closer one over here. Oh, okay, now Byron? Yeah, Byron? Okay, yeah, Byron's getting closer, for sure. For fucking sure. Okay, this is, looks like the other, uh... The other, uh, hidden puzzle, which is great. Now we know we know enough to do this one. Uh, two laser bits, a box, laser thing over there, a couple switches, activator bit there. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, flip, flip, flip. Oh, that doesn't get tall enough to do that, huh? Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. And that's the actual thing. All right, so we need to loose the uh, activator bit from there. Oh, and there's a fan there as well. And, it, and another box. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, but there's a, a thing here. And we can just kind of... Oh, I don't know. Move this back to here. Oh, but it's going to be blocked because of that. Oh, you little shits, huh? Alright, can we get this at such an angle that we can... Or, alternatively, we need to do it over here, right? Probably. Probably need to unlock that other box first. Oh, um, you know what? Let's do it this way. Just target ourselves. I forgot to connect it up anyways. Oh yeah, look at that. That's very tall. Ah, uh, but it's very like, yeah, you can only do this one. This one and this one only. That's fine. We can do the box here. Um, yeah, look at that though. I need the other... I see. I see what's happening here. We need to just raise this a touch. Just enough that we can get it, like, within range of this thing. Like that, yeah. And then we can do, um... Oh boy, actually, what's that gonna do? Because as soon as we doink that off there, that's gonna cease projecting, and then it's all over. Um... Well, okay, I, th I think I've got it. Just need to do that temporarily, and then we can do this to keep it open. As soon as we do the bonk, the bonk, perfect. Okay, uh, now though, <laughs> oh, I see. Oops, I should have done this this way. There we go. Okay, because then we can yoink both of these. Uh, same deal, I think. Although, uh, how is this gonna work, though? Because we definitely need it on a box. Um,. We need it to be on the box, and we need it to power the fan so that it can push it over and out the door. Whilst it's still powered, though. So how am I gonna do that? Um, I guess as I still want it up, like, above here? But how, how am I gonna move it All right, hold on a second. Let's let's do this. Let's move this. Um, let's move this a little bit. Uh, so if I, can I just yoink the box? Oh, I can yoink the box, and it still does the thing. 
Because if I do that, and I move it... Mm, back like a half step, and I do that... I think I need to move this over a little bit. And I go back out, and I get the first one up in the air again so that it powers up, right? Oh, but it's not close enough to keep the thing open. That's the that's the deal, right? That's why I had it there to begin with. So I needed it like over here to get that thing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> The, what was the name of this one? Slide. Right. Well, I know I need to get it to slide from the fan, so that doesn't help us out very much. Okay. Um. Hmm. I still need it to be on. Still need it to be on. But. Alright, let me yoink this. Oops. Let me keep these connected. But let me yoink it over to, like, here. Could I, in theory. No, I think we'd be cut off from an angle here. But. Once we get up to, like, here? And we still got a box up there, right? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So we've got a laser. We've got a laser in here. So we can just do that. I'm gonna yoink this box, put that here. I'm gonna yoink this. Put this to this one. Yes. Um, you know what, let's just do this one. Then, um, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I need this over here to be targeted anyways. So about right there. And then, then we can just move this one. Be like, yoink, and yoink, and yoink, and then up there, zerp, yeah, S slide right on out of there, no problem. Okay. Now. <laughs> now. Uh, is this still in a spot? I've got technically two boxes again, right? Yeah. Can I... Yoink this sucker out of here? It's just like... Oh my god, just mantle up there! What kind of future robots are we building who can't fucking... Like me, as a weak-ass human, I could pull my ass up there onto that ledge. No excuse. No excuse for this. Alright. Um... Even with two boxes, that's gonna be... Probably unassailable. Okay, uh, that's fine. I don't think they usually want us to use the, the lost puzzle bits anyways for the, the external ones, so that's probably good. All right, we just got number eight to go then, and then we've got to find some way to yoink a little activator thing outside of one of the puzzles. Oh, there's a social media bit. Can't wait for this. Mayor Herman's a piece of shit. Yeah, I agree. Um, sorry, I know Mayor Herman worked hard and helped pull the city out of a period of crisis, but this is in the future we deserve. None of us. We all deserve better. Yeah, we should have listened to Byron. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. Let's not go too far. Um, I always told myself all those public debates were boring. He wants to get involved in city affairs. And lately I've been thinking, yeah, that's why there's so much stuff I'm unhappy about. Because we all collectively gave up trying. I mean, yeah, that's humanity again. Maybe things can finally change. You have no idea how badly I need something new to happen. Now you have the potential to imagine a better world. And if we can imagine it, then we can make it happen. <laughs> You're all delusional. Nothing will ever get better. Wow. Okay, Debbie Downer over here. No. Trinculo. Fuck off. Um, 
You're only saying that because you've never known a world where things get better. You think the tiny sliver of history you experience is all there is because that's all Mayor Herman has ever allowed you to see. There's so much more. This is not the place for personal attacks on the mayor. Thread closed. What? Hold on. What? Where's the personal attack in here? I'm sorry. Like, maybe I grew up too much in, like, the shitty internet age, but I'm not seeing a personal attack in here. Is it this bit? That's all Mayor Herman has ever allowed you to see? That's the personal attack? Like, come on. No way. Phew. That's, that's a bit of a stretch, I think, but whatever. Um, then we've got full of fragments in the Wema system, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's an, is there another unread here? Oh, oh, it's to, right, the, the rusted out car. Looked a little bit like a Studebaker, but hard to say. Okay, and then we've got just number eight. Number eight of the normal puzzles, and then we gotta figure out the... The, the last bit of the star thing. <clears throat> Oh, and then there's apparently another glowy hand bit up here. Is that what the other one was pointing at? Yeah, it must be. Okay, yep. Good. Oh, the theology. Bernard Shaw. And you are asked, where is God? Who is God? Stamp and say, I am God, and here is God. <laughs> it's completed, but I'm still advancing towards completion. This isn't so much as I am working for the purpose of the universe, working for the good of the whole of society and the whole world, instead of merely looking after my personal ends. Okay. In that way, you get rid of the old contradiction. We begin to perceive that the evil of the world is a thing that will finally be evolved out of the world, that it was not brought into the world by malice and cruelty, but by an entirely... Wait, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I dropped something in there. In that way, we get rid of the old contradiction. We begin to perceive that the evil of the world is a thing that will finally be evolved out of the world. That it was not brought into the world by malice and cruelty, but by an entirely benevolent designer that had not as yet discovered how to carry out its benevolent intention. Mm. In that way, I think we may turn towards the future with greater hope. Okay. I'll about some of that. <clears throat> Stathius told me he thought this pastor was beautiful, but also diminished the connection to the sublime he felt when simply looking at the world itself. It's just sentiment, but I don't know if the miracle of existence, beauty, creation is exactly the same as the human sublime. That makes sense. I don't want to look at the universe and see myself reflected, even future me. Uh, the universe and the beauty of what we can accomplish within it are two unrelated but separate things, and that separation matters. Mm, I don't know. A lot of that seems a little wishy-washy. Oh, good, there's another Trevor voice clip. Can't wait. Um... Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 was that supposed to be blank? Okay, no. Uh, that was weird. Um, I mean, you're really not cohabiting with Starbucks by choice, not necessity. It's strange and pleasant to find your life so enmeshed with that of another person. We both came to realize that together we are more than the sum of our parts, something emerges from interactions that's wholly transcending and necessary. Blah, 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 blah. Observed this before between Athena and Cornelius, but experiencing yourself is quite the revelation. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and now Trevor's gonna come in with goof-ass Trevor things. Let me issue a correction. Oh, okay. first time for everything, Trevor. I said Alexandra doesn't see the bad stuff about humanity, but she does. She sees it, and somehow she sees past it. Mm. She doesn't ignore it. She can just see one step farther. Like, there's this mountain of garbage ahead of us, right? <laughs> and that's yeah. all most of us will ever see. Yeah. And she somehow sees beyond to, I don't know, the, the promised land? I, I don't do metaphors or similes or anything for this is okay well all right you don't care oh, whoops I'm that's dead. going out over there you're a robot but her ability to to, to, to look way. reality in, in the eye to see all the bad stuff out there and mm -hmm. still have hope mm -hmm. i mean it's amazing mm -hmm. I, mean, I think that's why i um that's yeah you know what? What? <clears throat> Let's not go there. That there's still so much work, and mm. Chernyshevsky doesn't have much time left. Well, I mean, who does these days? Eesh. I mean, I guess you're not wrong, Trevor, but even still, yikes. 
Uh, where the fuck am I? What is this one over here? Oh, it's the gate thing. Oh, goody. Um, I guess I can at least pop it on our compass here. Just a couple more. The one star here, and then the, the two stars in the last segment there, huh? Okay, well, I do want, uh, if I, if I just jump down from here, is that, is it gonna be fine? I guess we're gonna find out. Whee! Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> okay, I need to get to number eight. Where's number eight? It's over there. Maybe number eight will be the one we pulled the, the thing out of. The other one's kind of like, like, they're halfway there, but not, not, not quite what I would want. So, all right, all right, what do we got? Backwards, we got a little laser bit, box. Yeah, so it seems like some pretty tall walls too, so I doubt we're gonna yoink it out of here, but okay. Uh, fan and a thing there. Is that an activator? Is like this here. Okay, yeah, then that just pops that. All right. So I need. Yeah, this particular section has been very difficult to kind of walk around a little bit, which I do not like. But it's what we got. Okay, there's a. Let's ignore the first ladders here. All right, so we can pull this, uh... I guess we gotta do this one thing at a time, yeah? Pull that, like, right there. Oh, wait, uh... Actually, how is this gonna work? We're missing, like, one piece again. Because we need to elevate that to get it in here as the thing, and then... Oh, actually, no. Wait, you can do it like this, because then the fan is powered up, and then that... Uh, is that close enough to that? No, we need to be, like, uh, there. Because then that'll shove that out once that gets turned on, right? And then we'll have a box. Oh, try again. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll have another box, um, which we do need this other box, but how do we get it out of here? How do we get it out of here? Hmm. I know that I'll have enough time to jump my butt off the button, run over here and grab this, right? No, I didn't think so. Uh, um, yeah, no, no, no. And we can't just not put it on a box, right? Because it doesn't work like that, it just goes like, whoop. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. All right. Oh, 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 duh. Okay, no, I got it. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, we just need to connect this up here. So that when it opens up the first time, then it takes the second laser input and it stays open. And we don't need it on the box either, I don't think. And if it stays open, we can grab the second box and then use it that way. Or, okay, it needs to go a little bit. Maybe it does need to be on the box. That's up high enough to get the first laser. Bonk. There we go. Then we can yoink the box. Which we will need to keep that elevated, which we can then use to go bonk, 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 bonk. There we go. Alright, that's all the puzzles. 
now. How do we yoink one of these activator bits out of a puzzle? Four was the closest we had, I think. Even though there was weirdo platforming out of bounds stuff that we probably shouldn't be able to do. We've got a couple bits that do the whole fan under a box puts it up a little higher. But those didn't seem to be very accessible. Like, there were no walls around there that we could use and do whatever. Okay, Alcatraz is doing his thing. Um, I don't think I looked very closely at one, two, or three for that sort of thing either, so we can go quickly go back to those. See what we can see. Maybe we're supposed to yoink a thing out of those. One of those. We really just need the activator, because we know we can pull a laser from it's either number three or four to get the other half of things that we need, so let's start with number one that's over here. Looks pretty tall, although there's a little, like, okay, there's a little thing there, sort of. Um... Yeah, this one looks kind of unassailable, unless we can Skyrim our horse robot legs up here. No. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really? They're really gonna pull that? Like, just barely traversable? Okay, no. Okay, number one's probably off the table. Uh, number two is just over here. Keep an eye open for any, like, free-floating ones as well. But I would expect there would be any. I guess the other option is trying to look for a, a laser bit we can yoink out of bounds to, which seems probably less likely. Okay, number two. Kind of tall, tall walls again. Sort of crawl our butts up here. But, no, can't get out of there. Okay. Can we, like, yoink? Okay, we can yoink this up on top of a wall. Oh, okay. But, doesn't really help us otherwise, does it? We just keep going. Okay. Oh, and then we're over here. Okay, this feels good. This feels good up here. Yoink. So what did I do? I probably yoinked my, my butt up onto this wall, right? Oh, well. It was just like I kept rolling. Kept rolling up here. Yep. Okay. And oh, da 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 ba <sighs> Okay. I think we're on the right track. It's a hell of a jump, I think, to get over to that wall, but maybe we can do it. Or, maybe we just get kind of up and over there? This at least feels a little bit better than the other puzzle we were trying to jump out of. Let's make sure that it's nothing over there. Huh? Could I conceivably jump my butt up this? the bit here, and I don't think so. Probably not. So I'm gonna try to jump over here. Okay, but then what? <laughs> uh... I suppose the other option is to 
try to make it over to that wall and huck my ass up there, too. Let's try that. You know, let's try that. I think that's going to be traversable. Even if we get over here, which we can, easy. I think they would let me, yeah, I think it's too angled to do anything with that. Ah, shit, this feels like it's, it's the one that we pulled the thing out of, but... Matter of finding the actual route to get out of here now. We can get up here. I don't think we can quite get up there. Oh, uh, oh, okay. That's like out of bounds, out of bounds. Uh, no. <laughs> That's a big old nope. I don't think we want to be there. We could some. Oh, gosh, dang it. Somehow, just get. Oh, did I. Am I now stuck for realsies? I think I am. There's no, no jumping our way out of this one. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, well, let me get back up on that wall. Let me not take the thing with me, because it's a little bit harder to see with that uh, blue field around everything. There. Up there. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, up there, up there, up there. Okay. So, like, this feels very traversable here. Oh, I guess there's a little tiny bit here that maybe we can pop our butts onto. Oh, my. feels like you should be able to... Oh my god, let's just ski right off of there. Feels like you should be able to stand on that little tiny rock outcropping and maybe get a little higher, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, for sake. Okay, I'm actually having better luck in first person mode with some of these jumps. This is kind of stupid. Right here. Oh, please. What was that? Uh, you know, I think House Principal 1 had some of this stuff too, where it's like very obscure. Very obscure jumping that they tried to shoehorn like some platforming into a game that probably shouldn't have platforming in it. Uh, but maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. But this seems, like, pretty potent, right? Should be able to jump all the way over here. I don't think we can make that jump. Like, no, that's way too far. But, like, what, what are our other options? Like, most of these other angles are unassailable. I mean, the other wall over there is probably fine. Only other nice jump. The only other spot I could think to do would be this, but that looks just perfectly un unclimbable there. So no. Otherwise, there's this here, which okay. Can I can I like wedge it up in here, and then I have to like approach from outside? That would be kind of stupid, but you know, we can give it a try. Telling me I can place it here. 
yeah, and even then it's just gonna slowly slide its butt down there. Like, there's no way I'm gonna reach my robo arms in this crevasse and be like, yoink. Although, I guess that raises an interesting point. Can I get to, like, just a little tiny bit of an outside wall to, to pull it through? Even if I don't jump out with it. Can I get it into such a position? Like, right here? No, like, that's way too far to reach down. And I can't jump and place it. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, so like, why is this little tiny bit... ...standable when this one isn't? Gosh dang mystery. Can't, like, put it up any higher there. Pretty sure I can't, like, just ski my butt over there. Yeah, no, of course not. All right, um, tiny hints, please. Am I in the right puzzle to be pulling one of these out of? Which one is this? Number two? Because I'm pretty sure of what I need to do. Okay, is it a puzzle that I have to pull one of those out of? <laughs> that's the next. That's the next question, because I think I'm on the right track. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So now it's a matter of finding which one it is. And I don't think they would put both the laser and the thing in the same puzzle, right? They wouldn't do that. I think. Well, let's go to number three anyways, because that's where we uh, we target the laser out of there. Pretty sure. Oh, we never talked to Yakut. Yakut, what's up? Hey, 1K, how are you? Oh, pretty good. You know, I just addressed the in entire world, you know. Uh, giant statues, creepy or inspiring? Uh, both? <laughs> okay, that's what fair. What do you think? Um, both, actually, yeah. You get me one, Ken. <laughs> that, that's all, Yaku. <laughs> Alright, thanks, buddy. Oh, man. The fuck? Alright, number three is over here. This is the one I was trying to fucking jump all the way around before and, and pull it out, but it's not gonna... I don't think this is the one we do that in. Or was it this one? Now I don't remember. I know this one had the laser bit in it that I was... Oh, actually, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, where was the laser bit? Is there not a laser bit? Maybe it was number four. Oh, no, it was number four. Number four had the laser bit. But hey, while we're here, um, can we yoink a thing out of here? Mm, no. It's a tunnel bit, which I don't think helps us. Okay, no, it must have been number four then. Number four had the laser bit in it that we uh, shoot outside and put it to the relay. And... Yeah, because that wasn't. Yeah, the relay wasn't until over here. Okay. And I did I look? Maybe I didn't look thoroughly at number four. If I could jump a thing out of here. Oh no, it was because it was the platform, and then I was trying to and a Skyrim horse my way out of it, and then it just didn't work. Okay, but the laser itself is pretty clear. Yoink and yoink. Okay, that's pretty clear. But... Is there a wall here that I can get out of? Like, the closest I got was putting my butt over this wall over there into an, an essentially an unreachable spot. So that's probably not it. But, you know, I'm tempted to try it again anyways. Just in case I'm, you know, bad at platforming. Oh, right, uh, that's, you know, 
blue laser activator shit, right? Uh, where's the jammer? Let's just put it right there. Okay, so now I can get on this one. Kind of stodgy to do, like that, right? Now from here, I know I can get across there. Um, just to be like dead on. Not like that. Oof. Hold forward too much, then we just spill over the other side. If we don't jump soon enough, we just dunk our butts on the inside wall. This better not be the one to do it, because, uh... This seems like beyond the pale. Alright, so we're over... <laughs> we're over the wall! Hooray! Um, but I fell my butt on the other side, which is less hooray. And now it's like, well, can I get my ass out of here? And the answer is probably not. Which they make this seem traversable, and it's not. You know, I could spend my ass trying to jump out of here, trying to jump out of this puzzle. Is this the correct puzzle? And to follow up, which one is the correct puzzle? Because I know what I need to do. Like, that's enough for me. That's enough to satisfy my dumbass puzzle mind brain. I figured out the process to get to the solution. That's good enough. Dealing with this little crotch of a thing. Two, huh? Two? Really? Wasn't that the one I was just in that she told me wasn't? Now well, let's go back and check it, I guess. Mm. Alright, well, four probably isn't. <laughs> four probably isn't right, anyways. Um, oh, actually, while I'm here, let me hook up the laser. Just so I don't have to trudge my ass back here again. There. And number two was kind of a slog to get back to. are very spread out in this area, and I don't like that. Alright, I'll see if number two is actually a thing. Like, there's a lot of... A lot of, like, high-angled shit around here, so... Yeah, maybe this is the one. Four. Four. Okay. Wait, I was just in four, though. Did I miss, like, a very obvious jump that I could have made? <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Let's head back to four. Thank you. Thank you. Head back to four. That's the one with the laser sticking out its ass, right? Oh, there is something just stupid, huh? Okay. All right. Very good. See, now this is the fucking TP1 incarnate, right? Putting jumping puzzles in a game, in an engine, in a physics thing that should not be required of you to do jumping puzzles in. Line of sight, lasers, great. Perfect. Oh, no, ju no jumping, huh? Really? Huh. That changes the uh, calculus a bit. What could that mean, then? Jumping. Hmm. The 
only elevation we get is this thing here. That almost seems to suggest to me that there's a way we can somehow, from outside the puzzle, reach in and grab a thing. There's so little of that around here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Otherwise, there's a method of pushing it out, which also doesn't feel right. Okay, well, we're gonna have to disconnect this temporarily. So I want that platform. I want that platform for something. Not sure what just yet. gonna like activate the panel or something that would have been something dumb okay um oh who's this over here is melville got more to say to us i guess okay yes <laughs> wow all right sorry melville jeez think i did the right thing i do okay but i also don't really care all that much uh, okay. i think what Fair. really matters is what we do about the theory of everything the rest is a footnote hmm all right i should get back to it that very minor diversion, Melville. Uh, okay. Initially thinking that there might be another laser target outside that uh, would like drop one of these little activator things somewhere. That would have been stupid as well. I would have been kind of upset if that was the case. Um, but all right, let's just put that there for now. Uh... It's got a very specific path to it. There's not much to it. There's not any... Yeah, I guess there's things here. I can't dunk that thing on top of the laser emitter, right? No. Okay, no. No, no. Um... There's no, like, real narrow gaps here in the outer wall that I can pull it through. No. Well, no, no. I don't think I can... get up, like, around this thing. Maybe I can. She said there was no jumping, so... Okay, um... Yeah, it kind of limits our options a bit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me circle the outside. Oh, I think I see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Why is there a tunnel bit there? Excuse me. Oh, you cheeky fucks. Okay. 
All right. Because now, if I yoink this, yeah, and now it's showing a second one that it's fucking intercepting there. <sighs> okay. And now we've got a tunnel bit on the outside. Okay. Okay. Um Is one of these has a have a tunnel wall? Or is there like a just a fuck. Is there just a tunnel wall sitting out here somewhere that I just totally fucking glossed over? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 okay. Let's go, uh, did I rehook up the laser? I did, okay. Let's go check that first. Um, ooh, wait, alternatively. I wanna see if we can yoink something out of like one of these big ass heads too. Cause these are like way too stand out to not be a thing, right? Yeah, maybe that would have been maybe a little too sneaky. <sighs> Which section was that that did this? Like this almost not quite the same thing, but very similar. That annoyed the fuck out of me. Cause now what I'm curious about is if this box is technically made of like tunnelable material that we need to use this here to reveal the laser input or something. Yeah, it was the beach section. God, that one annoyed me. Although it made sense, like it made complete sense, right? Like absolutely, the, the tunnelable wall was there. I probably looked at it and I just fucking did, didn't register. I was just like, yeah, that's a nice wall. Next. Uh, okay. How much of this am I gonna have to run around to find uh, where the heck the tunnel wall is, right? So my thought at this point is like point this at a wall and some or like a ceiling or, or whatever, and something drops out. The thing that I need drops out of it. Whole lot of that. Whole lot of things above me that could possibly do that. Double check that there's no, like, interior, exterior walls here that I can tunnel through to grab something out of. No. Okay. Other other thought is that maybe we huck this thing back to the lab and there's like a wall in there or something. Which would be also stupid, but hey, you know, I'm down for stupid, I guess.
think we've checked all the lower number puzzles. Or tunnelable walls on the exterior, and there were none. We're back at number eight. my luck, it's going to be a single-ass square of tunnelable wall. And on the inside is going to be a note saying like, haha, fucko, good job on missing this. And I'll be like, yeah, thanks, you're right. Here's number seven. Closed off, which means nothing. Exterior walls, no nothing. Okay. bit over there with the <clears throat> Tesla coil looking motherfucking thing, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see a wall there. Ah, okay. This doesn't look extremely familiar, so I definitely did not look directly at this. Ah, okay, well, we got it, though. <laughs> we got it, though. And I guess it wasn't too far off had to do like a an extra third loop or whatever god it was fine fucking else principle two I swear I guess the important thing that I will lean on is that I knew I had to get one of these fuckers out of here out into the world Somehow, that was the deal. And I figured out the laser bit, so I'm like two out of three. Two out of three on this. Not bad. Um, the laser's still active, yeah? Uh, although, if it were... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I must have disconnected it. All right. <laughs> Take this thing with us so I don't forget it. It is better do it too. 
if I put this down over here and it's activated, it's just like, nah, man, nothing. Nah, okay, it did work. Very good. Fucking. Hooray. We did it. It is not the voice of God that a prophet seeks in the desert, but the silence of man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't disagree with that one, honestly. Okay, alright, let's go do the... The, uh, the Tetris Bridge. And then we can be done for tonight. And then there's only one section left. And then the, the gold gate puzzles and shit. Uh, what the... Build a tunnel. <laughs> I just want to get around this thing. Then there's just after after this murder laser, it's one more murder laser. And then we get to go into the murder pyramid for the fourth and presumably final time. And maybe we find Byron. Who knows? I guess it would be okay if we found Byron. they had some sort of fast travel even within these sections because some of these are very large and spread out hard to walk through okay blip and blip and blip and nope okay back it up a couple pieces uh that sure sure and yeah there we go we got it <laughs> Came to save you. Yeah, that's exactly what I intended to do. Sure. I mean, we'll let we'll let Byron have that little lie. That's fine. That's fine. We'll let him, you know, keep thinking that's what we did. Two S pieces is probably not the way to go. Let's start with the. Uh, oh no, that's terrible. Let's start with that one. And be like, yeah, we'll go with. Ew, gross. That one, I guess. And then that one? No. That's pointed the wrong way. Oh, and that's definitely not it either. Okay. All right, all right. No, let's, let's not start with one of the S pieces. Let's start with, I guess the L piece is the only other option here. Point that back, like that, and then, yeah, there we go. Okay. And it did end with the two S pieces, that's gross. Okay, here we are. Cool lighting effect. Did it? <laughs> I don't remember that. May still be found if we are willing to uh, it, that does sound like something I'd say, but I don't remember saying it. Hope is not gone from the world. Okay. Some small part of it still survives. All right, Pandora, sure. But it is not in the flame or in these towers. Okay. It lives in the hills and the forests, in the rivers and the seas. 
You were given a world full of hope, creature of clay. Uh huh. It is yours to protect. Well, I'm mostly a creature of silicon and metal and other such things, right? <clears throat> hope is not in nature, it is in people. Sure. I just want to fight Byron. <laughs> no, I don't. I will do my best, which is also a cop But hope is not in nature, it's in people. People will fail you, creature of clay. Yes. When the time comes, they will abandon you. Oh, probably also Keep true. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Pandora. Uh, Alright, so we got the first murder beam in this major area was red. This is going to be green, I imagine, right? RGB? Ne never doubt it? Yeah, never doubt it. So, Melville, what do you make of these beams? Do they seem safe to you? Yes, Nothing perfectly safe. safe. You could kill yourself with a fork. Or a bucket. Sure has. <laughs> but anything can be used safely if you choose to. Uh, I see. Wow, what a scintillating journalism there, Cryer. <laughs> Absolutely the best investigation ever. Um, okay, I guess we're done here. Let's hoof back to uh, the travel bit and then call it a night. Excellent. Pretty much right on time, too. Like, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right. Okay. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7:30 p.m. CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. So more Shien Ryu or uh, Bluish Resurrection Plus or um, Karis. Friday, Saturday we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST will be Long Play. So more Salt Android Cactus and Speedruns and other miscellany. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST back with the Talus Principle 2. We've got one more section to do. Presumably we're going to find Byron, even though we don't intend to. Um, and then probably the, the little Golden Gate puzzles as well um, after we finish that last section. And then we'll see. We'll see if we need to come back to this on Wednesday. I would imagine so, since we've been doing like one section a night. We're definitely not going to have enough time for all those other puzzles after that on Monday. So probably on Wednesday as well. And then that may well wrap Tal's Principle 2. We'll see. We'll see how much those, like, extendo puzzles take to, to do. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.